Welcome to the Wine Society. The trouble with my favourite aperitif is that everything quotable that's ever been said about it has been done to death, but very little has been said about how great it is with food. Now it may seem a bit counterintuitive, but if you just ignore the bubbles, and after all, the mousse in a very good champagne is much, much finer than the huge fizzing globules you get in a certain commercial carbonated mineral water. You have here two gourmet grapes. You have Pinot Noir and Chardonnay. So it's bound to go with food. You also have a mouth-watering acidity that really helps and no tangible oak, although it's certainly used in the process, that sometimes disrupts good relations. However, you don't have to spend an arm and a leg to get some very, very good options indeed. Take Bressola, for example, or it could equally be carpaccio or very rare roast beef. Absolutely delicious with Pinot Noir. It could easily be cured ham or salami, which is lovely with Chardonnay. Most champagnes are a blend of both of these grapes, but what I would serve with something like that would be a top drawer rosé champagne. Now, non-vintage champagnes are a blend of different years with the aim to provide some kind of consistency or house style. But a vintage champagne is the produce of just one harvest. Now these wines can last a very, very long time. The thing is not everybody likes what happens to them. They get deeper in flavour, a little bit more linolic, sometimes just even a little bit vegetal. But if you really love this taste, these are the wines that you should pair with wild mushrooms and even game works absolutely brilliantly. If you like a good salty oyster, the perfect match for that is a zero dosage or ultra brut champagne. And by that I mean a champagne that has had the gap filled, the gap that's caused by the disgorgement of the sediment, not by the usual liqueur d'expedition, which is a blend of wine and cane sugar, but just of wine. And this is a really lip-smackingly dry wine that goes wonderfully well with seafood. But champagne doesn't have to be ultra dry or even brut. Demi-sec is a very, very versatile kind of champagne that goes very, very well with fruit salads, light puddings, and also on the principle of spiciness and sweetness complementing each other with Asian snacks like samosas or bhajis or that kind of thing. Now, you may have noticed that unlike a proper wine TV sleb, I haven't been eating or drinking, the better to frustrate my viewers. And unlike Madame Lily Bollinger, I do have a personal code, it may surprise you to learn, of not drinking alone unless it's an emergency. But as it's Christmas, I've decided to declare one. To wish all my feeders a very Merry Christmas and a very Happy New Year of wine enjoyment. Cheers, Slonche and Yechida. Mmm.